They have to do a detailed, comprehensive history and physical examination. And to do it properly takes about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and it's not real trendy in medicine now to do these things. I mean, you know, heaven forbid we actually lay hands on patients and touch them. Uh, but this is necessary for, for the diagnosis of, uh, of head and neck pain. Uh, and then the, the differential becomes, uh, you know, uh, very classically uh, uh, predicated by this, this type of approach. Uh, you'll know that it's a joint problem. You'll know that it's a ligament problem or a tendon problem or a scar problem or a herniated disc or uh, uh, a sensitivity to monosodium glut glutamate because you will have asked your patients the question that you, know, you notice that it always occurs after you go to a Chinese restaurant. So this, this is the type of approach that will lead you to a specific mechanistic diagnosis. And you always need to entertain a, a differential uh, in head pain because there's some horrible red flags that you need to remember. There's tumors, there's, uh, there's uh, uh, atriovenous malformation. So you have to have a differential and you have to stay flexible.